Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to add Zendesk tickets info to Microsoft Excel which means that as soon as a new ticket is raised in your Zendesk then automatically your Microsoft Excel worksheet will be updated with that record of the ticket. In this automation that we are going to create using Pabli Connect, our trigger will be the new ticket raised in Zendesk and our action will be the new added row in Microsoft Excel. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how you can create a record of all the tickets that have been created in your Zendesk in your Microsoft Excel workbook. So let us quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now. That will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Add Zendesk Tickets to MS Excel Workbook. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you will be able to see on your screen. You can see Trigger and Action, two major modules of Fably Connect on which the complete workflow runs. Before that, I would like to remind you to open your Zendesk account and also the sheet where you want to create the record of all the tickets so that you can connect both these applications to Fably Connect and also to make the changes which are required to create this workflow. Now let us understand the trigger and action working. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means that trigger will be the first application where the event will take place manually or we can say that we are going to perform that event. Here our trigger will be Zendesk because as soon as a new ticket is created in Zendesk like here from the application, then this workflow will be triggered. All the data related to the ticket will be brought over here and further transferred to our action application, which is going to be Excel where the event will be to add row to worksheet. Now let us first of all work on our trigger application. We need to connect Zendesk and Pabli Connect so that all the data related to every new ticket that is created will be brought over here as a response. So for that we need this webhook URL that will act as a bridge between both these applications Pabli Connect and Zendesk or any of your trigger application. These are the instructions provided to you in the help text that you need to follow in order to use this webhook URL. Let us learn how to do that. First of all, log into your Zendesk account and click on the views from the left sidebar and go to manage views. Here is views. Go to manage views and here you will find manage views, sold tickets, unassigned tickets and all these menus. From the left panel, scroll down and you will get to apps and integration. Scroll further, you will get to webhooks. Click on webhook and create a webhook. Now this webhook is not just an event that is going to take place in Zendesk, it is basically a trigger or automation. So select that, click on next by proceeding, give it a name, I'm going to name it as MS Excel. Description is optional if you want. Now in case of endpoint URL, you have to fill this URL in that field. So copy it from here and then paste it in your endpoint URL. The request method is post and the request format is JSON as given over here. So you can cross check it and perform the action. Now you have to test the webhook, click on test and here click on send test. So we will be receiving a response here as a sample. Like you see, this is how ticket will appear as a response. The subject, the description and the priority, the ID, all these details will be sent. Now just when this is done, click on create webhook and the setup is done. Click on finish setup. The webhook is created. Now one more thing that it just said right now that you have to add a trigger also. So for that, come here to objects and rules in the same menu and in objects and rules in business rules, you will find triggers. Click on triggers and then you have to add a new trigger. Trigger is the situation when this webhook that you have added will work. Here I will type as ticket created and the description again is optional. Category will be notifications that whenever a ticket is created, a notification will be generated. Condition, click on add condition and give over here tickets. So the condition will be that ticket is created or updated. We are working on created. So when the ticket is created is the condition for the working of this trigger and action is notify. Notify what? So here first of all come to notify active webhook and which is the webhook? We just added MS Excel 1. So every time this trigger will take place, it will notify the active webhook, which webhook this, which is directly connected to our workflow right here. Now they will need the JSON body. So erase these curly brackets, go to your workflow and from this help text, copy this complete JSON body and paste it right here. 
Now see the cross button for the wrong identity is disappeared. Now just click on create and your trigger is also created. Since the trigger is created, we can go back to Pavli Connect and click on Recapture Webhook Response. Because this was a sample one, we will recapture by creating an original ticket now. Now it has started waiting for a webhook response. So we will go back to our Zendesk. Click on this Add button on your top left corner and go to Ticket. Now we will create a ticket, the requester over here. So I'm going to put a requester email at who is raising the ticket. This is the email address. Then I have an assignee, so I will assign it to the support group. Followers, if you want to add, then add. Type is a problem. Priority, I'm setting it to normal. And here I will put the subject. The subject is electricity issue. And I will give a description of my problem over here. Now this is my description. I will simply, I will simply click on submit as new. And here the ticket will be created. You can see the ticket is created. Go back to Pavli Connect and you will receive the response here about all the details that you included while creating a ticket. You see, the title is, is electricity issue. The status is open. The priority is also correct. The group name that it is assigned to is support. And if you drag this one, you will see that here is the description. Right. So we have received all the details. Now we want to use this data to create a record in our MS Excel. So first we will see we have description, we have a group name and we have a title. All right. So we go back to our sheet and we will create this column over here. So first of all, title, then we have group name and we have the description. So these are the three fields that are required. All right. And if we have the email address, then you can send that as well. We do not have any email address of the person who assigned or who created this ticket. So these are the three. So we have given these names for the fields. Now we will be mapping the data in these fields so that every time a new ticket is created, then we will be getting all the details of the tickets here only. So now what we need is we need to extract this data which is having too much of details in our description section. So we will be retrieving that with the help of text formatter. Click on the action step next and type over here text formatter which is a feature built inside Pabli and you can get formatted your text in any way that you want. So what we will be taking? We will be taking text parser which takes out the text from the given paragraph or whatever text value you have. Now connection is not a difficult task because text formatter is a feature by Pabli only. Now first we will map the text that you want to parse. So we will map this data of description. Now we want after this time from there to end. So after we will add this part which is 15 colon 14. All right. After this and before you want nothing which is the end. So not going to put anything. Click on save and send test request and you will get that data over here and see. We have splitted the text and this is the description that we required. So now we can directly map it in our MS Excel sheet. Close this window, click on the plus button and add the last action step which is going to be Excel. Here Microsoft Excel is our action application. The event will be add row to worksheet. Now click on connect and add new connection. Since Microsoft Excel is a Microsoft application, we have to connect it using our account. It will automatically detect your account. You just have to give access to Pabli Connect to update the cell values of your worksheet. Click on accept and your connection will be done. Once the connection is done, you have to choose the workbook name and also the worksheet name over here. Like you can see, you have your workbook and your worksheet. So what is the name of your workbook? It is Zendesk Tickets. So I'm going to find it here and this is the one. All right, but it is Zendesk Tickets 1. So again, 1. Be precise in choosing your workbook name. Once it is chosen, it will automatically reflect these three columns that you have created. See, the worksheet is just one. We just have one sheet over here. So that is not a problem. And we have the column as title, group name and description. So let us map the data. So mapping is basically inserting data from the previous step. Which is the previous step? We have two steps over here ahead of MS Excel, which is Zendesk and text formatter. So we are going to take the title from Zendesk. So every time a new title is given to any new ticket, then it will be mapped over here. Column B is group name. So the group it is assigned to is support group. And then column C is description, which we have formatted using text formatter. So we will take the result from here. So this is the description given. Click on save and send test request and your fields will be updated. We are here waiting for our text to arrive. And we, here we have the data. 
See, the title is an electricity issue. The group name is support and this is the description that we have given. Which means every time a new ticket will be created in Zendesk, the data of that new ticket will be recorded over here so that you can keep a record of all that. Now, these number of columns and the fields can be decided by you depending upon your own requirement. But this workflow is going to come handy if you want to keep the record of all the tickets raised in your account. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.